Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hero of Reich, Defender of the Fatherland. Off here to an exciting one versus one on Holotny Fatherland. We've already here got Loveness, for example, with the Doctrine chosen right off the bat, and this is fortified armor. Fighting here, though, for Zreich, for Deutschland, for the Groß Deutschland Partition going up here versus Golden Path. Fighting here for the Soviet Union, for the glory of Comrade Stalin and the Soviet peoples and the 7th Tank Corps we've got guard motor lent lease and mechanized support here available for him doctrine to large infantry with either a machine gun or anti-tank gun bullets is there plenty of conscience there being mobilized here for Golden Path Lovness going for the Grenadier the ever trusty and faithful Grenadier with their car 98 case standard German rifle for the war Wiring off the centre point there, nothing out of the unusual, more conscripts on the way there for Golden Path. Cut off there's a cool point here, because we've got more gonna do this there following up. So far he's heading southwards, whereas we got this sort of usual bit more spread out approach there from the Soviets, sort of trying to grab as much territory and of course also suss out enemy positions and the likes. We have it! bit about why here to deny we cover so at least if they are going to have any heavy cover here they can't at the same time hold the point which of course then give Loveness a little bit of a chance of holding the point around here got why going up there pretty standard stuff trying to sort of wire off points here to make it a bit harder to rush for the munitions point from the east nothing out of your usual you'll also see some players wiring off well there we go this point as well standard stuff standard stuff Lavinus continuing southwards, we've got Gnesia basically checking ahead before moving in towards the centre, trying to pressure the opponent a little bit. Got additional engineers there arriving for Golden Path, so three conscripts, two engineers, wire, and we've got Sandbag going up here, paying positions. Good stand, I think, to be a bit closer to the point, but otherwise, basically set up so in a way, so if Lavinus takes this, it's going to be a lot less useful to him than it is to Golden Path, though, even then, I mean, a good flank from here is going to render it somewhat less useful. Pioneers and Gaten here first shots fired of this engagement. Pioneers then get in touch with the front. is bringing up the north to be able to flank in here. Pioneers won't be able to last long. They're already down to half up. At the same time, we got Pus here. He ignore the victory for next train here and thinks he's trying to. I think he's might be trying to join the troop from Golden Path from elsewhere towards this building. Interesting approach there. And of course, I might be wrong. Can't they fall back? The pioneers themselves will also push back. Third squad there, Ram got an MU42 almost there. We got a special rifle company or command up here for Golden Path. So there could be snipers, there could be Strafniki, there could be scout cars right there within the opening moments for Golden Path. All could sort of have, well, valid reasons. Of course, the question is what will he ultimately go for and how will he try to use it? Looks like a scout car there is on way, the M3A1 Lend Lease equipment car there for Golden Path. Comes just moving from north. But why going up? He didn't cover at the same time. Sandbags here, basically camping up around Lavner's cutoff point. Boldly so. MD42 setting up here. I'll be able to put some stop to it, but it's only going to be difficult with the sandbags up. Then it is continuing to in the position there. It's only thanks to the fact he's got so much other territory he can actually pull this off. And this, in fact, isn't a complete, you know, mess for Loveness because, I mean, there's basically a sort of very circuitous path in part, you know, due to other points here. It sort of allows us to still maintain connection with the southern points, but it is very tenuous and can't hold on for that much longer. And for up here, might be able to stop the conscripts from too much of the assistance of the pioneers. Maybe going to continue to maintain position. We've got engineers rushing back, going for the cutoff point there, on the other hand, whereas Loveness can sort of avoid this being, you know, a resource loss for. Golden path, the situation is somewhat different. Ultimately, there the conscripts are pushed away. Another conscript flanking in against MD42. We've got the scout there, right? We've got a second scout in the way, by the way. The golden path flame flares up, and this will have to pull that back, back pretty rapidly before they are wrecked. MD42 sitting up here in the heavy cover to deal with the conscripts up north. We are losing territory. Going for the munitions now. The conscripts there being a bit pinned down. And we've got tech up there for Loveness. Quick scout car soon will help him versus the M3A1. So of course, he might decide for something else, a pack 40. Or who knows what. Why going up here to basically sort that Golden Path can't use the sandbag to himself set up there. Then again, it's not exactly going to be to a lot of use for Loveness, but could at least provide him some cover from hit and attack from the south as well. So it's not a complete, you know, loss. 
still he's managed to get most of the map here for the time being though of course with the scout car tracked towards it there's certainly a risk here of loudness rapidly losing map control in particular since force are currently a bit scattered and thus easier targets for an m3a1 with a flamethrower in it there's certainly a few dangers there can still holding out the building but they also being pushed out here simply too many germans with too many guns and too many bullets like him again as company going up there nothing further here from golden path certainly no doctrine as for Loveness chose choice of fortification or fortified armor, I mean, it's certainly interesting. I mean, it certainly would indicate there's some art kind of armor plan, certainly not just some play for a tiger. Play. Well, there's not a tiger there. It does certainly feel a bit odd. It's a bit rare to see fortified armor and certainly not chosen even in the first few moments of the game. There goes Scout Cross, himself points. Lacking here, actually, the flame for the old one getting a damaged engine. There go, knocked out. Flame through to flick on the other side there. MG42 the force pull back here. Engineers could be popping up there, think they're switching. There we go, scout cars. Good job then going for the cutoff. Again. So again, with these points here, this particular path they're still there. I mean it's still not going to quite work out for him. So in essence, what Golden Path is wasting a lot of resources in an attempt to cut off, but the ultimate he's not reading. Of course, with this you can cook, do it, and it's going to work. But still, he's managed to basically lose two scout cars on this kind of assault. There's a harassment attempt. And he hasn't really done that much sort of unit damage to Lovnest in return. So it's a bit risky here. We could see the engineers here wiped out as well. And there we go. Lost as well. He did, I think, get a gun in his squad there. So it's not all a wash. But still, two scout cars, one engineer. We might, in fact, see another one there wiped out. Our heavy losses there. We are seeing guards. Most of us are seeing guards rather than being called up. And there we go, fine, he's managed to cut off Loveness from his fuel. Certainly took quite a bit. There we got the 222 up here. Constantly about, but they've got no anti tank grenades to deal with. And there we go, we've got to the engineers right out, so that's going to be two engineers, and two scout cars for one gun here, and what eventually became an actual cop there of the resources for Loveness. So that's quite expensive. We all see anti tank grenades up there, but at the same time, there's a small chance we could see the conscripts wiped out as well. In which case, I mean, Golden Path is going to take quite a beating. He's not going to be getting any time soon. Golden Path guards working in the door. They've got old revived grenades flying there, and Yuri was too slow there. He got stuck in something. Guards making some damage. He might be able to get the 2 2 2, but he's going to have to be in a rather high cost to their numbers. And they go down to two men. There we go. 2 2 2 finally goes up in flames. And Lavinist is beginning to lose a lot of territory now. He's just down to a few points. I mean, in the end, it did work out, but the cost. For Golden Path, in doing so, has been very high, and that's actually going to mean that Loveness will be able to quickly push back, ensuring that it's not going to last for that long unless Golden Path then pulls off something otherwise fiendish. For Loveness, we're now seeing Panzer Gunner being mobilized here to the field. Should add some more firepower to the front line. MD4 to the moving up there to support the Gunner. they going for the cop on again, going push back here though by Guardsmen. Rapidly attacking forwards. Are the unit here ready? He's by the way using merge here to sort of quick get up the numbers without having to pay as much there. Good job there, good job there. Not a lot of useful funds with merge, but good to Zarbite. Pioneer there holding up the church, spotting and alter denying it to the Russians at the same time they can be pushing up here further, trying to drain away territory there from Loveness and Sassert Reich's control. DP lock machine gun there. Ready. Another merge, no, not by the looks of it. Gonna do this, they're forced away. Looks like now Loveness is focusing more on the north, actually giving up in the south, at least for the time being, just doing a bit of light harassment. Of course, now, actually, with this, with the victory point now, not secured, it's going to work. It's to the resources again there for Golden Pass. From that regard, you know, Loveness is doing pretty well, constantly denying Golden Path fuel. Compared to Golden Path, that hasn't quite had as much success denying Loveness did. Gonna be easier, they're pretty bad position on the wrong side of the cover, and they're getting hammered with PTRS and DP fire. Not really what you'd like to be. Could consider, by the way, some minefields around here to sort of make any approach more difficult here for Golden Path in case when he counter attacks, which will inevitably happen. Point now being secured. Two squads of Panzer going to be here for Loveness. He's really adding in some more infantry to the proceedings, some more assault infantry. 
Increasing defensive posture. That should certainly give him a bit more firepower to play around, but at the same time, he holds you here. A bit too occupied with the country there. Does not see the other country, and they're all in heavy cover. Now, this is a rather bad position. Now, he's also going to have to hold back pretty rapidly. He's swinging down here to assist the Gandhis, and there you go. Conscious could see another unit wipe there for Golden Path. No. Got lucky there, got lucky. Bunker up. No, he got them. He got them. Wipe another Conscious Court there from Golden Path. The losses there are staggering. Yeah, he's still keeping up, but certainly he's going to lose a lot of impetus, a lot of steam here. Versus Love Nest. We certainly got a lot more punch at the moment. Thanks to that. The enemy has broken our supply lines. The bunker has been converted. And certainly right now he could consider actually taking up, going for some armor. A quick flat panzer, quick panzer four, some stooks. Could certainly provide him with a lot of firepower there to bring further to bear with this golden path. Of course, quickly this is what will golden path do. I mean he could himself consider taking up. More infantry could also be an idea. In both are viable options. A sniper, I think, could also work maybe that much infantry here. For loudness, a sniper could be sort of help in keeping things a bit under check there. So there's a guard, we've got a 251 half to run away to support Love Nest. Pants with advantage. Ah, negative cover though. DPs and PTRS has caused a quite a harm there. It's enough he did not move towards the light cover. In fact, he sort of pulled away. But then again, it looks like he's doing his base to sort of flank the guardsman right there. An overall pretty good choice as well. Then still have a cover, and then of course, Golden Path troops will not force them away. Enemy forces Shield, the fascists can flank, pull back, but not suspiciously so. So we'll get shot for desertion. Further sandbags going up there. Further attempts sort of digging in around points. Then it is going to flank in. Good enemy forces to take up here again. A bit exposed, a bit exposed. They need to be careful when they get flanked from the building, for example, could cause some problems. 250 on half to bring in support. The Gunnadies always suffering loss out of negative cover. Quickly losing half the squad. At the same time, finding continues up. We've got two panzers here. Guard moving straight into it. Need to get into heavy cover. Then the other panzers, I think, are moving a bit too dangerous and close. They're still doing quite a bit of damage to the guard. they taking heavy losses. Grabbing the DP again. Forced away there, though. Guards from there running right. Moving out into negative cover. At the same time, the fighting continues up here. MG42 joint support. Gunnadies here with the half taking support. Definitely quite a bit more formidable force. Guards from there dropping a DP down to three. And disturbingly low on health there as the Panzer gun is set in. We just shouldn't give airs. Force retreat there, but full fusillade there. Tears them apart. Guards in the unit they lost. Now we're seeing another infantry squad lost for Golden Path. I mean, he's really taking quite a beating at the moment. He's getting a T-70 light chain though to sort of try and throw things back in his favour, and that could certainly work out in particular since Loveness has basically only got Panzer for us at the moment to deal with any kind of threat like that. Then again, a part of me wonders, could he perhaps not, instead of going for maybe a T-34-76 or a half-track? I mean, the T-34 is only a bit more punch, and the half-track could certainly be a bit cheaper in some regards, and also allowing him to enforce his own already meagre troops, allowing him to keep a bit more pressure on the field, making it harder to push off, plus it could be useful as the 251 as well. There you go, T-70 light tank moves out. Guardsmen here versus Panzer Gunner here. There's so many guards from the whole we lost. More are moved in. And there you go. T-70 strikes in. We've got Telemans going up here. Good positioning, by the way. Panzer Gunner there taking losses. Telemans just barely finishing the treat just in time to ensure that the Golden Path does not see them get suspicious. And it is also swift retreat as well. Then again, at that point there, had he gone for the Panzer Files, he'd probably have been bunched up too easily. And thus, the T-70 could have done some part of the terrible damage to them. Might be able to get a gun of the here, that would certainly give Golden Path some time. No, does not pursue. He must be worried that there's a pack waiting around here. Though, of course, we know there isn't. More shooting going on, they're going pushed away. Golden Path will need to do something sort of rapidly gain back a lot of territory. We see some force moving down there, salvaging what it was left behind by the dead guardsmen there. Striking north, striking south. Trying also, it seems to deny fuel there too. Love Nest, who has not teched out as of yet. Could he actually be playing for an elephant, or is he just the command tank that he's fancying? For the time being, we got Mines going up there in return for Golden Path. Good, good, he probably could have done with some earlier. There we go. T-70 
he simply needs to be a bit careful around here. Of course, he does not suspect probably there's a telemine there because so far we all have seen no mines from Love Nest. We've got some reconnaissance going on there. Good, good. And there we go, T-70 hit the teller mine and gets wrecked. Guardsmen there being forced back, got a full panzer with assault going in there. Got a few storm gewehrs. Another is MD-42 there, Pioneers bring up here supporting some other Grenadier. Golden Pile Force, we're going to be coming under a lot of pressure here. Golden Path heads for the heavy mortar. Adding in some artillery here versus the Hitlerites. Got the pioneers moving ahead there. And they could be hitting straight into the mine. In fact, they are heading straight into the mine. And there we go. Most of the unit wiped out. Small victory there for Golden Path, but nothing really serious and certainly not much going to help him get really back into the fight there. Of course, the half tech can quickly overcome that. Again, good half tech playing conjunction with the Wehrmacht can do a lot for you. And that's also give you a lot more strength and durability. And it does put it away there for the pioneers. Probably to support the guys at the front line rather. Further harassment down south. A game of cat and mouse if both cats and mice had a lot of guns. Mortar there, ready to support, ready to fire. Constance there getting absolutely shredded here. Two men machine guns, half track and the adjoining grenadiers. There's their holding up, there's the guard from here, Mortify, there go, collapse the building, wiping out the Grenadiers! A nasty loss there for Loveness, so his sort of first real loss there of an infantry unit. Pass was there, almost fired out here by the conscripts as well. A few setbacks there for Loveness and the Gors Deutschland. But overall Loveness is maintaining a dominant grip here on the map so far. And there we go. Befields, Panzerwagen, summoned forth to provide some anti-infantry support, amongst other things. Your orders, Looks like the first target there will be some conscripts moving rather far ahead of themselves and the rest of the force. Nearly coming up out of the Panzer fort. Quick anti-tank gate though, damage the engine. The enemy is there you go. Two thirds of the unit wiped out. Utterly. Because they're running away. Points being secured. He's getting extra there to the southern fuel point. Which is good. For him at least. For Loveness, of course, they're going to have some problems and some implications. We're going to take them near here. There's the half tank. Do some damage to the MP42. They can lose force where the Constance ultimately ensuring they can't exploit it. Command tank roads on. Not even waiting for repairs there. Interesting. Interesting. Looks like Loveness is not too worried about Golden Path could bring against him at the moment. Points. Quick man being laid down there by Golden Path. Preparing a Golden Path to hell for his opponent. Not only for the command to here to ruin it. Need to cancel, need to cancel. Oh dear, get away, get away. That was lucky there. That was lucky. Mindset off there, of course, he was there. He just needs to keep shooting. Hey, Mortar gaining so far. A few kills against Loveness. They're getting off a hit there on the half tack by the looks of it. And now the command tank decides not to move any further. Constantly, there's a punch of the got more guard from the other side. Could catch the troops here in a bit of a crossfire. Pants are already taking heavy losses. Constantly, what's being forced away though? Simply too many Germans. We've got another guard in the they're arriving for Golden Path and need more troops. No support weapons beyond the heavy mortar though. And again, he's lacking a support weapon company here. He might want to consider getting up a support weapon company here though, of course. The sort of you know get in some field guns to help deal with that command tank, but also other bits. You know, Maxim could also I think help versus Loveness infantry. Command tank is repaired. Panzer Biscuit squad they wiped out by a mine. So Loveness is now beginning to sort of feel a bit more of a bite there from Golden Path as the losses are mounting. That's actually slowly equalizing the forces a bit more. Slowly, but not really rapidly. Still no tech up from Loveness. Is it really playing for an elephant? It's certainly strike me as a bit of an interesting, but also odd choice. Okay, 
go. Command and charge forward back right place going off as well. The building and the men most killed off until the Panther 4 base drives straight into it. Panther from another side, Captain Hunter really to accurate the premises before they're utterly annihilated. Got further fun here. Flame Force versus Grenadiers. Looking rather close to the engineers. Did not make it. There was a small chance that basically though needed to rely on loudness retreating and losing his nerve. But he did not, he kept cool. PTS they dropped the conscript charge in straight to the Pentagon via his line of fire and the command tanks. Not wanting it to fall into the hands of the fascists. Certainly being secured here. Golden Path coming onto the fringes of the map, but so far beyond that has a hard time sort of gaining any sort of further traction there at the moment. We got more telemites up here, by the way, it seems from Love Nest. A sector is at risk. Heavy water connects with the command tank but fails to penetrate. The enemy has cut off a sector. Partly probably due to the fact that there's no top armor in the game. Otherwise, most tanks are actually pretty weakly armored on top. Fun fact there. Oh, country squad there wiped out. Once more, Golden Path finds some short on men, even as he gains some kills here against Love Nest. Rushing against the half tank here. Quick anti tank grenade. Sadly, he does not have an anti tank rifle, which could have helped him with further. There was a half tank. Fail to connect? Now that's rare. That is rare. Now, I think at this point, Golden Path is basically where up there for the T-3045 at the same time. We finally got tech up here for Love Nest. Rushing for tier 3. Well, not rushing, but we're having a nice walk towards tier 3 at this stage. Comes there, getting bombarded. Guards moving in from the north. We got some pioneers going about the south. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Come on, take moving up there. Got these moving forwards. And what is this? He is going for support from Campania, finally, although of course does cost a few of their tools, the T-45s. He's definitely going to need some field guns here to deal with things, I think. Guards made straight to the MD-42, that was not a happy ending. They got a pack 40 by the way up from Loadnest. Clearly expecting something to come towards him now. And they're taking some minor damage, MD-42 switches sides, had to deal with any assault from there. Nothing further here from Loadnest at the moment. And we got a field gun there rhyming for Golden Path. Good, good. Concentrating some light losses. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. Command tank once more need repairs. I can only imagine it's not really for comfortable for the commander sticking out there to get all the engine smoke into his face. AT gun is ready for combat. And field gun there. Conscripts and running. Lavner still maintaining pretty good control despite that brief resurgence there from Golden Path. It's time here for the mid game analysis again. Current situation Golden Path, not exactly golden. I mean, he's got very little territory left. His forces are constantly suffering some kind of setback. I mean, he's doing his best here and there, but ultimately, I mean, he's lacking something, in particular something to threaten that command tank and the half tank. I mean, he's going to need some field guns to sort of help deal with this, which could also then be used as artillery, and certainly some more infantry will be needed. Apart me would also say he should get a fuel cash up to sort of help with the fuel income towards, you know, getting those T-3045s up now. I mean, otherwise, I think it's simply going to be happening at a too slow pace, and he probably should have had a fuel cash up or two much sooner. But right now, he's definitely going to need that. He's going to need to sort of focus around fighting here and regaining the northern fuel point, I think, and sort of try and sort of catch some of Lovness' forces off guard, and particularly if he can grab the MD-42, that would do him pretty well. Using the smoke motor bar over here, or the smoke aspect of the motor, to quickly lay down some barrages to sort of screen off units here and there, I think could also do him a lot of good, and would also, for example, limit the effectiveness of some of Lovness' units. So that should be a pretty good idea there. For Lovness, we got this... I mean, he could at this stage consider moving up to tier 4. I mean, he's got the resources for it. He could focus on get a Panther, but he could also just get a Storm Panther 4, which I think could pretty much bury Golden Path at this stage, if used properly. So, I mean, that be, you know, suggesting that, I think. A fuel cash, munitions cash there, I think, could also help him. But otherwise, you know, keeping up the job as he has so far, applying pressure here and there. He could also consider, you know, setting up some munitions and upgrading the half-track here to a flame for a half-track. That could also give him a bit of a boost. 
But beyond that, not really so much else here to come on for Loveness at the moment. It's really basically down to what Golden Path here does. So let's return to the battle and see what happens. Well, that was some fun there. Got him hit there. Half to take the damage. And he's shouting straight into the midst of Golden Pass forces. More guards being called in. I mean, he's really called in a lot of guards in from this battle. You got the Pan 4 Command Tank around there and opening up their own engineers. They can't seem to bloody well hit. Don't tell me you've been drinking Sebastian Bruce again, Fritz. You know half of that stuff is anti freeze. After he's done his fort, and he does serve as a nice sort of core for his forces to again. He doesn't have to retreat his infantry so much, which again does make it much easier for him to have to maintain that control. Makes it harder for Golden Pass to push forward. Pans of all their tanks are nice hits. We got Garth, we got Garth not there taking the damage. Panzer Gully here, Panzer Gully seems like at this point Loveness is rather worried about enemy armor this part again. We're not really seeing much here from Loveness or Golden Carl at the moment. It's not that one, he's simply at the same time, we've got to push it from the north. Command taking in Veteran 2 1, looks like Golden Carl is really sort of moving in with everything he can. Hey, Mort, they're getting Veteran 1, getting some good kills. A precision strike around here would do quite good if, of course, he's aware of what's there, but either way, just shooting. And we got a Barrage going off him for the field gun. Barrage. Really sort of trying to pressure here, Loveness troops and wipe them out. One more to five, but thanks to the other things there, basically going on, infantry's already moving away. So this breakout attempt was rather did not really go the way here of Golden Path's will. If anything, it seems to sort of failed a bit. I mean, it did some damage, but ultimately I would not describe that as enough to sort of really threaten it, the loveless dominance of the North. We actually need going in pretty aggressively, going for the cutoff again. Setting up Sam Max, he can actually use. Bow there by Golden Path Bowed. And we got mines going down there, and we got a heavy panzer corps up here for Loveness. Heavy panzer corps. So there could be Panthers, there could be Storm Panzers. Command tank moving in there from the north, flanking in there into the retreat path of the conscripts. Good part, a good idea there. Hey, Mortify continues up north, getting a few more kills, but nothing sort of really serious at the moment. Is the conscript going to make it out there, or will they get wiped like so many others have been so far here for Golden Path? Do you get something up here? Ah, field gun did not fire there. Being a quiet one small here. And there we go, the Loveless Panzer is on the hunt for communists. Getting a few kills. It looks like someone up north here took some heavy loss here from the heavy mortar. Almost followed up there, but not quite. Still one survivor to make it back and constitute the unit guards from up north here suffering from the Panzer Force high explosive shells. The situation is not exactly improving a lot here for Golden Path. The enemy is taking our territory. It would seem that really all of his subs are basically pinned on the T-45s here. We are losing men! Awaiting order! Constant David DP and PTR as you find us the grenades out in the open. Hey Mortify going down here him maybe win this? Maybe. Then again, because he's trying to take the point, and a lot of his men are basically exposed out in the open. They're not quite getting covered there from the heavy tank. Well, wreck. So that's not really working out there for Golden Path. Well, the heavy mortar fire. Final position, you can see they getting up another field and hit support things. There you go. Storm Pants available, but of course. I think a Panther vehicle is going to be the first. They can always add in a Storm Panther to deal with any remaining infantry. There you go, Panther Compound Fringe on the way. We're still some moments off here from a T-55 group there for Mr. Golden Path about 
Uh, I'd say three minutes. Then he should be able to call them in. But at the same time, at that point, there's already going to be a Panther out there from yeah, Loveness, and he can always then be actually pretty close to a Stuart Panther 4 as well. Which, of course, won't be much of a threat, though, still some threat to the T-35 Panther but certainly a much bigger threat there to the Infamous Will alongside the Command Tank. Wiring off here, cover, just to make sure his opponent can't use it, it seems. No much for those so he's pretty much at risk of setting off the entire minefield if he's not careful. With his men on it, obviously. Command tank moving forward, closing in on the veteran he's through there and the shoots. And there go, right here off. Just in the nick of time there. Bloody close though. Tiny is forced away there, to stop the guardsman. Larkin is sort of reacting now, he's not sort of really pushing too many troops into any one point. Got the Panther there ready. Looks like it's on a direct route there to deal with the Garden down south. We should probably though get there. There we go. Penal machine gun sort of help with these things. Field gun crew caught here by the Grenadiers. Nasty losses inflicted. Getting closer there to the T 35s And there we go. Grenadiers attack northwards into the Garden Air Force away. Because they're caught here between a lot of crossfire. Meanwhile, the command tank continues to bombard away in the north versus the Guardsmen. Shattering them slowly but surely. And because they're fighting with a mix of DPs and LMG 42s. Getting a few kills there. And we got another heavy mort here for Golden Path. I mean, this close to the T-35s, I would have waited a bit, not just explaining that much manpower. More importantly, at this stage, with a Panther out in the field, he's going to need another field gun, not another heavy mortar. And that's again. Another heavy field gun sort of helped deal with the Panther Golf's just attack that sort of cover flanks out a bit further. So I feel that's a bit of a bad choice there from Golden Path, adding in a heavy mortar here to the proceedings. At this particular point in the fight, had it been earlier, maybe, but at this point? No. I don't think it'll do him any good. Then he's been pushed away. We got a large he pushed down south. And I mean, he's got the fuel more or less now. And I just need some manpower. And again, had he just waited for that in him, again, he just a field gun to it. After that, again, he could have had it out right now. Guys from the tank across the rope there. Thanks a bit of cratering, though. It's not quite as bad as it could have been otherwise. We and last we see, we got more. Got it going up there. No grenades here, no Molotovs. Same time, I'm engaged up here. Panzer reserves the conscripts there. MGs, pioneers, and Panzer into the center. Got Panzer operating there as well. All the heavily damaged. Pioneers in the mind, he's getting shot at. Taking heavy loss there. Pitch your loss there for Love Nest. Panzer flanking in there. Get the field gun there attacked. Can't shoot there again. Had he had something else to cover it, that would have been good. Or had he had the T 35s here, that would also be quite helpful instead. He's got neither. And there you go, the field gun has been cleared up, the pioneers are moving up. Cook Wreckett here. This looks like he is doing it. No, 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 no. He's scramming it with the pioneers, adding another anti tank weapon there to his arsenal. Good job there, but Love Nest only to make it harder here for the T-45s. Only make it harder. Bottom enemy secured. And of course, he's bluffing, he's some um, smurf at most. From what I understand. Anyway, 22 there for the command tank. Another infantry they actually lost here for Loveness, it seems. Panther striking off the anti tank grenades there. Giant Bubbly, Mitsu Wilson, yeah. We've got machine guns here turning into the conscripts. Minor losses there. Moments away from being able to call in the T-35s here. That he doesn't have any sort of work together with the marked vehicle either way. Call in those T-35s. We need orders. The enemy is taking our territory. And there we go. Well done, comrades. Basically, a T-3476 with a big ample armored turret and a bigger gun. The hull itself is pretty much the exact same. 
Gonna do their best engineers. In force away. Panther moving up. Slowly. Yeah. Pulls back here, does not pursue, does not engage. T-3545, so the T-3545 obviously has no interest of rushing into that. That also, of course, allows Loveness to bring up some tank guns here to support the Panther. And the guards when they're caught out in the open are absolutely so beaten apart. And one can already imagine the Panther can come on, they're going to steal and force him in, so who can defeat us at this point. Right now, by the way, I do believe he can actually get up a strong punch and just use the manpower. Certainly, I think that would help sort of finish off this by basically sort of wiping out what infantry goes past the step at the moment. Right now, Golden Path needs more field guns. It supports T-3545. So he's going to need field guns. Depends because they're taking hits though from heavy mortars. One veteran, two actually clutching in a veteran. Three, sixteen 16 kills on the four. Not too bad, still. I think there's definitely like nailed down to tank as it's from Golden Path. Yet he can get them, yet he doesn't. That's not really helping out. He's just constantly rushing out here from the command tank and the MP42, which is getting ever closer to Vex 3 itself. But if he wants to get just a field gun or two here, have a pretty good chance, I think, of getting back here at Love Nest at the moment. That is, if he handles his cards correctly. Otherwise, when he's basically facing off against two anti tank weapons, a Panther and a command tank, plus Panther and Panther, potentially, I mean. That's going to be rather a lot there for the T-35 to chew off. In particular, as so far, he's keeping them reasonably close together. I mean, not very good against each other, but certainly going to be tricky to you know. Even got he's hulling down the command tank. Oh, damn, use a hull down there. Can't be There we go, T-35 rushing forward. Panther moving in there. Few got to reach open now. He was able to force him a bit back, but still the T-35 from the range. Already one there, taking heavy damage from the anti-tank guns and field guns. And inside the church, not too good either. Panther firing there from the northern part, constantly getting of garden actually, but that's there. Taking losses, constantly beating a haste retreat out of the building there. Panther has taken some damage. Imagine what he could have done here and had a field gun support and everything. Imagine what he could have done. So we've got Mark beating now going down here in the Panther. No, it's air reconnaissance from Love Nest. Actually getting an idea there what? Golden Path is up to then his base. Good, good. You know, it looks like he used the assault then in the center to sort of extraction as well, sort of do other things. That's always something, but ultimately he did suffer quite a bit here and he never really sort of made any serious damage to Loveness. I mean, he cleared out the field gun, but that's about it. That's hardly a sort of permanent loss. Oh dear, it looks like someone got wiped up there. The demo charge and we've got set off. T-35 need repairs, they're on moving out. He really should get a field gun up. Or he should consider getting up a regular T-34-76 to at least support the T-35s. I mean, right now he's going to need more numbers. And waiting for another pair of T-35s at this point, he's not going to work towards it. Not fast enough. Oh, no. Telemark there went off. Racking the engine of the T-3045. Guards are force away, we're going to deal it. We have reduced our foes to 100 points. What do you need? Conscripts, Garsman advancing. Panzer here. Is that a command tank heading northwards? And we could also do some pairs and it's getting it. Two shots are going off against the command tank. Still no sign of a field gun there for Golden Path. Definitely something I feel is hurting him at the moment. I'm desperately trying to get his teeth as well. 85 out of there. Quickly, Dimitri, step on it. I am, I am. It can't go any faster than this. If you want to go faster, get out and push! 
Immortify going down the field, going pack moving in, path striking out as well. Rolling ahead there against Cross the Roads. Panther coming on a fire there. Shot Panther off the front of armor. There you go, one goes through. At the same time, flanking in there with Panther Strikes and the Pack 40 and the field gun. Two thumbs up in dire straits. And at least we want to be better using one of the mortars laid on a smoke screen to cover up the tank a bit. But no. Looks like you're about to lose one here. About to lose it. T-35 abandoned. The other one's left. That's all there is left. Hey Mortify, they're knocking out the field gun crew again. We got guard, we got engineers going in here. Pack 40 got cleared out as well. Maybe a precision track named Vault, who knows? Panther though, command tank firing away. Panther is forced away here. Both T-35s wrecked utterly beyond salvation. Well, not this one. I mean, this one can still be salvaged. Field gun recruit there, but taking a lot of damage up close here. Machine gun firing on high close shells, and there we go, wiped out again. Conscript sneaking up behind here, Bowler 10, I think there we go, recruiting it. One last shot there, but I don't think he's going to last for much longer. There we go, Panther finishes it off. Ammunition cooked off. And we've got another Panther there on the way for Loveness, another Panther at this point, though, rather than taking. Go for a storm punch and just shatter the remainders of the infantry. Hey, Mortis, though, did something as the game progressed. But again, had he had a field gun here, I mean, had he had some more artillery lines and tanks on board. The tanks but also just to do something versus the arm. I think he would have stood a much better chance here versus Loveness because we had the gun reasonable then holding up so long, but without the field guns and just the T-35s versus all that which Loveness could bring against him, it was just a bit suicidal. Close to veteran defeat there for the field sponsor. Second panel almost done. And they're rushing straight into the line of things here. Quick grenade gone against MP42. Could he get it? Wipe the veteran the fleet crew. Almost. Almost. And there we go. Wiped. Got the half tree there, by the way. Still operating in support here of Golden Path. Bunch of advancing. And oh, they're just getting stripped of all the machine gun fire and the gunfire. Finally got a few gun up here again for Golden Path. Took him long enough to the other one, but the infantry's just. And Nyland, he's holding down the command tank again. A rare sight there. We got more air reconnaissance across the base of Golden Path again, keeping an idea of things. Panther moving forward to strange the gas, but not really feeling anti tank rubs. Although he did have some si issues with sidearm acts being vulnerable to anti tank rubs. Fun fact there, in particular, the actor had to up armor the sidearm of the Panther. 40 to 50 millimeters sort of help with that. And there might of course also have been other issues with the Panther which and may be a bit vulnerable to anti-tank rifles. Still, another Pentelman machine gun there. Golden Path at this point has been beaten off the path. Ready. Reconnaissance flight set to go. Half track awaiting you. Need something? With the edit to the you need light anti-tank support? Golden Path sending out to strike out again, but at this point, I mean, he's probably got a lot left. And of course, again, the half chicken shores. You can just reinforce in again, doesn't have to retreat as much. Can't move forwards. Oh, careful with the half track, careful with the shoots of Panzer Marken. He's just charging straight in, looks like Golden Path at this point, maybe just giving up a bit. Half track finally got knocked out, though. Panther flanking in there. Command tank supporting, punch they get torn apart. Almost with the feeling the command tank panther joining in. And the tank there damage in the end game, or through the turning into the Russians. Veteran three on the Garth, Veteran won the field gun, almost got the command tank there, almost released Veteran three now. Garth will hang in for the north, and of the force back there. Panther striking into the base, and catch whatever's left there. We must protect our HQ. Not sure what that is though. Getting this part of some building. We have only ten points remaining. Out of the way though. Less than ten points left here for Golden Calf. More to be cleared out here. Panther rolling nonchalantly into the base, and there we go. Game over there. A loss for Golden Path, a victory for Love Nest.
Some good play there for him, some interesting choice there, fortified armor right off the bat was able to make good use of it. The half deck certainly also helped him a lot in maintaining that necessary battlefield control there for the Wehrmacht in particular sort of early to mid game. The Panzers looking at least the MD42s already sort of all nicely did well and of course that Telemann early on altered a lot there for Loveness and basically stalling up Golden Path. Golden Path on the other hand suffered I think too many casualties. I mean, he made a lot of aggressive flanking, but at times it felt a bit reckless, and he'd rather though extend a lot of times. Plus, of course, that one assault here. I mean, all the scout cast, all that. I mean, just everything into that melting pot. I mean, he lost too much on that. That really, I think, crippled Golden Path. And the way he played, he could never really recover from that. And that was, I think, one of his larger issues. I mean, he basically went all in there, and he didn't really get enough out of it due to the way the what, what Loveness already secured. The command tank certainly only made things more awkward there. And then, of course, I mean, he simply didn't have enough field guns up to sort of help deal with all the armor and even support his own armor. When, of course, particularly when we had Panthers out in the field as well. So, I mean, that thing was another sort of issue there for Golden Path, which only made things, you know, more secure there for Loveness. Since ultimately, then, he had less to worry about sort of dealing with his Panthers. So, in that regard, you know, some problems there for Golden Path, but overall, also just some nice play there from Loveness, which again made him rather resilient and also much harder to push off to the field once he was there. So hopefully you enjoyed this match, hopefully you learned something from it, hopefully it gave you some ideas for your own matches. If it did, why not subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone. If not, you know, send it to me if you want to find some feedback in the comment section. And this is Imperial Lanting, cheers and thank you all for watching. Bye!